Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Tammy Live. I'm Tammy, and today we are gonna be making a delicious Sunday dinner, guys. We're gonna be making pot roast. It doesn't get any better than pot roast, but not just any pot roast, guys. We're gonna be making a nice, juicy, succulent, tender, absolutely delicious, mouth-watering pot roast, guys. So without further ado, let me introduce these ingredients and let's get started. Of course, we have to start off the show, our pot roast right here, as well as some adobo, uh, salt, white black pepper, as well as onion powder, smoked paprika, sage. Yes, we're digging deep, guys. We got the sage. We also have some margarine, guys. Not margarine butter, <laughs> but margarine spice, which is gonna tie in with all of the flavors and it's gonna be off the chain, trust me. We also have some dried rosemary, dried parsley, bay leaves, beef bouillon cube, barbecue sauce, some olive oil, as well as um, beef broth, tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, Red, uh, sherry cooking wine, <laughs> as well as some tomato paste and all-purpose flour. I think I've named everything so far. I think so. But if not, as we go through, we're gonna go over everything once again. Alrighty, guys. So, first thing I am gonna do is, I am gonna put my gloves on because we're gonna get deep. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get all up in this meat. We want this pot roast to be nice and flavorful, as I mentioned earlier. Alrighty, first things first guys, I'm gonna take my paring knife and we are gonna put some slits in this meat because we want all of the flavors to penetrate deeply into the beef. First things first, we're gonna take a little salt. We're not gonna add too much salt guys, we gotta be careful with the salt intake, but we're gonna add enough. And what we do on one side is what we're gonna do on the other side as well. We're also going to take some ground white pepper. If you don't have ground white pepper, use some black pepper. as well as some onion powder. Mm-hmm. Just sprinkle it on. And we are going to add some smoked paprika. Mm-hmm. As well as our sage. Yep. Gonna add it all up in there, guys. And our margarine. And I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil, just a bit. And we're gonna mix it all in. Take your time, mix it all in there. Make sure the uh, seasonings penetrate deeply throughout the meat, guys. Mm -hmm. Just massage it, give it a nice massage. Who doesn't love a nice massage, right? Just massage it really good. Mm-hmm, it smells so good with the different spices, woo! Absolutely smelling delicious. All right, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna take some Worcestershire sauce and we are going to add a gener generous amount to this meat as well. And remember, we placed those slits in there, so it's gonna literally seep down deep into the meat and it's gonna penetrate and it's gonna taste delicious and it's gonna be nice and juicy. Get it all up in there and those slits that we had placed in there earlier. Mm -hmm. Side one is done. We are gonna turn it over and repeat the same process. Get that salt, not too much, as well as our ground white pepper as well as our onion powder, paprika, ah, I'm making a mess, sage, our bay leaves is trying to like leave us, <laughs> and our margarine, rosemary, and we are going to add a little bit more oil. Mix it all in once again. Make sure the sides and everything is covered this time. Every part of this meat needs to be covered with seasoning, guys. And by the way, I'm seasoning up the meat and stuff. I'm all involved. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone is doing great. 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 
Mm -hmm. Take your time, make sure it's seasoned properly. We want flavorful pot roast, not salty pot roast, but flavorful. You wanna taste all of the different combination of flavors, guys. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna pack on some rosemary and we're just gonna pack it in there. Mm -hmm. It's gonna stick because the meat is somewhat like moist and damp from the Worcestershire sauce. Flip it over. Okay, and we are gonna do the same thing to this side. Add that rosemary, add it all, and just pat it on in there. Make sure it sticks. And in the meanwhile, what we're gonna do is now we're gonna go over to our all-purpose flour, and we are going to coat our chuck roast, or should I say pot roast, with flour, guys. Yes, we are gonna coat it, or should I say dredge it with flour, all over front, back, side, everything. We're just gonna dredge it in flour. Now here's the thing guys, if you're not pressed for time like I am, of course, after you season your meat, you're gonna cover it up, place it in the refrigerator for about two hours, cover it down with some uh, with saran wrap, place it in the fridge for about two hours, and allow it to just sit there and basically do its thing, allow the seasonings to soak in even more, and like I said, just allow it to do its thing. But I am pressed for time, right? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna continue dredging it with flour. And now that everything is seasoned and dredged with flour, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this to the side for a while and I'm gonna work on sauteing the veggies that's gonna go with this delicious pot roast, guys. So keep watching. We are back and we are gonna move on to phase two. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna um, saute our veggies. I have some uh, sliced onions as well as sliced red bell peppers and some green bell peppers in the mix. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute everything. I have my Dutch oven right here ready to go, nice and hot. We're gonna add a couple tablespoons of oil and we are going to add this bowl right here of goodness. Yes. And we are going to get to sauteing. It may look like a lot of vegetables, but trust me, by the time you start, like literally, once everything starts to break down, it's gonna like literally look like nothing much. <laughs> All right. I am gonna add just a little bit of salt to taste, just a little bit, that's it. As well as a little adobo. Give it a nice flavor. And just a little bit of pepper, not much. And we are gonna mix it all together and allow it to do its thing and break on down. Cover it over and allow it to do its thing. I'm gonna give it about five minutes and then I'm gonna check on it and I'll show you guys what the final product looks like. So it's been five minutes so far. Let's check on our veggies. All right, this is perfect. I know you guys can see it. This is perfect. And what I am going to do is I'm gonna take out Put this right here first. I'm gonna take out these veggies, guys, and I am gonna place it right here into this bowl, just like that. Take them out and place it right into the bowl. Perfect. They smell so refreshing. <laughs> Scoop it on out. Get every last drop. Alrighty, perfect. What we're gonna do now is to the same pan, we're gonna add some more oil. Right? Yes, right. <laughs> and our meat that was resting. And we're gonna allow the oil to get hot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pot roast and we are gonna place it right into this pot. And we are going to brown this pot roast on both sides until it's nice and brown. It's not gonna be cooked all the way through, of course not. And for this part, we're gonna leave the cover off. We're not gonna cover it or anything. We're just gonna leave it off. Because we're not steam cooking it, we're frying it. We're searing it on both sides, guys. <laughs> it's been about 10 minutes so far, give or take, and our pot roast is browned. I uh, flipped it over, it was brown on one side, flipped it over, allowed it to brown on the other side, and this is where we are. Everything is browned nicely, and what I am gonna do now at this point is, remember those stir-fried veggies that we had earlier? We are gonna add it back to the pot, on top of the pot roast, 
just like that. Yes. Add it, make sure it covers it. And we are going to take our beef broth and we are going to add it to the pot as well. Add a good amount. Make sure you submerge the beef in the liquid. <laughs> that should be perfect. That should be perfect. And I am going to add my beef bouillon cube for even more flavor, guys. Even more added flavor. More flavor. Just break it up and add it to different parts. And that's it. We are also going to add our bay leaves. Just twist it in there. Trust me, everything coming together is gonna be amazing. And we are gonna add some sherry cooking wine to this pot as well. We are going to cover it up and we are gonna place it into our preheated 375 degree oven and we are gonna allow this pot roast to roast and marinate in these juices, guys. And I will catch you in a bit. We are back and so far it's been about two hours and a half and our pot roast is almost finished cooking, guys. Yes, 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 we're almost there. So what I'm gonna do as of this point is, we are gonna open this pot and see what we're working with. And it looks absolutely beautiful, and it smells great. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm gonna do is, I am going to add to this pot, I'm going to add the carrots, add it in there. We're also gonna add the potatoes. Mm -hmm. This pot roast is gonna be awesome. Just add it. <laughs> We're figuring out what to get in the pot. Also, what I like to do is I like to thicken up the sauce just a bit because we don't want no watery sauce. We want it to be nice and thick and rich. And guess what, guys? Saucy. You said it nice and saucy. So what I'm going to do is to this uh, bowl with water, I'm going to add a little all-purpose flour. And we are going to combine the two ingredients, of course. We're going to thicken it up. Or should I say what we're making is a slurry. A slurry is just basically either cornstarch and water or flour and water. Add just a little bit more. Give it a good mix. Make sure you stir it carefully. Make sure the water is cold, by the way. Stir it carefully. Make sure there's no lumps and no bumps. And To this mixture, I'm also going to add a little bit of tomato paste. The tomato paste is not only going to give it nice flavor, but it's going to give it a nice, rich, you know, orangey color. Just follow me, okay? <laughs> add just a bit, about a, I would say about a teaspoon of tomato sauce or tomato paste. And we are going to combine it with our flour and water. Give it a good mix. And of course, the color of the flour and water, or should I say the color of the slurry is gonna change. It's gonna start taking on more of an orange appearance. And this is what you're looking for, right here. This color right here. We are gonna add it to this delicious pot. Just add it. And combine everything while being careful not to break up the meat because as of this point, the meat is nice and tender. So I'm mixing literally around it, not disturbing the meat. And just combine it carefully. Also, we are gonna add some barbecue sauce. And this is gonna give it a nice, rich flavor. All of these ingredients, trust me when I say, it's gonna tie it together. And this is gonna be the best pot roast you have ever tasted in your entirety of life. Trust me when I say that. And that is it. We are gonna put it back into our oven. This thing is hot, be careful, it's a Dutch oven. Dutch pots don't play, guys, I think we all know that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put it back into the oven for about maybe 25 to 30 more minutes until the potatoes and the carrots are nice and softened to our liking and the sauce is nice and thick. All right, guys? So. Continue watching, like I said, about 20 to 30 minutes, and I'll show you what the final results look like. So keep watching.
Look at what I have in front of me. Our pot roast is finally finished. Yes. Time for the unveiling, guys. I can't wait. I can't wait to taste this delicious pot roast. And I'm saying delicious because I know it's going to taste good. Yay. <laughs> All righty. It's hot and it smells so good. Goodness, goodness. Take a look at that richness. The gravy is nice and thick. Mm-hmm. Look at the meat, it's breaking apart already. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> what I have right here is some perfectly whipped mashed potatoes. And if you look at my buttermilk roasted chicken video, you will see exactly how I make my mashed potatoes, guys. And trust me when I say it's like so awesome. The taste is so delicious, so creamy. Mm, melt in your mouth, honestly. All right, so it's time to go in, guys, and taste this pot roast. Hey. Now this is perfect indication of knowing that your pot roast is gonna be amazing. When you could literally pick it up like this and it just breaks apart without you even having to struggle or do anything extra, come on, honestly. <laughs> Serious. Let's get some of that delicious thick gravy that we worked so hard to put together with the barbecue sauce, the slurry, and the tomato paste, and everything else. Let's get some of those delicious looking veggies on this plate. Mmm, potatoes, yes. Let's get those carrots. Oh my God. <laughs> now take a look. Absolutely gorgeous. Put that parsley on top for that garnish, guys. What? Absolutely phenomenal. And of course, guys, it's time for your girl to dig in because I can't wait anymore and my mouth is like literally salivating. This is beautiful. Look at the gravy. Woo, my goodness. And I know it's gonna be hot, but I don't care. Mmm, 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 mmm. Absolute perfection. My mouth is in heaven right now, honestly. Wow. All of the different flavors, different seasonings. We use the sage, the rosemary. Mmm. Wow. This is definitely Sunday worthy. Absolutely amazing. Not to mention the richness from the gravy. Like I said, we added that tomato paste, which gave it like a little hint of acidity. And we also added the barbecue sauce, which gave it that nice smoky flavor. Mm. Perfect texture. The meat is absolutely tender, juicy, and delicious. Mm. Let's try the carrots, guys. Let's try the carrots. Mm. Even the carrots have flavor. <laughs> so hot. Wow. Anyway, guys, I have to go and like literally finish this plate. <laughs> like literally dive in and just eat like real crazy right about now. Because this meal is so heartwarming, so delicious, but yet so delightful. Goodness gracious. Anyway, guys, of course, full recipe details. Uh, we'll definitely be on cooking with Tammy dot recipes along with beautiful pictures tips and tricks and different hints and different things So be sure to go over to cooking with Tammy dot recipes for full information mm -mm -mm. Absolutely phenomenal <laughs> Anyway guys, I catch you in another video. Bye guys